Hey YouTube, I have a brand new Subaru Forester that I wanted to get a roof rack that could carry two pretty large canoes. I went on eTrailer.com and entered my vehicle and said go, Subaru Forester roof rack. It comes up with a bunch of different options. I calculated that I needed at least 70 inches and none of these fit the bill. That's 53, 50, 50, doesn't say, 50 inches, 50 inches, 47, 47, 55. So there's a lot of options, but none of these actually are wide enough. So I ended up finding the Thule Pro Bar Crossbars Aluminum 69 inches long. And to use these, you need Evo raised feet. And these mount to your factory roof rails. Because the price of this is $219 and the price of the bar is $149. And it would be pretty easy to steal if you didn't have locks. I bought the additional locks. I wanted to order this from eTrailer.com because it would have been a little bit cheaper than my local bike shop. But Thule could not get these until February 12th. But my local bike shop, Plains in Pittsfield, Mass, could get these from a distributor they have. They got the bars, they got the rest of the pieces, and they offer free installation of the rack. The rest of the video is going to be installing the rack and showing the canoes. I'm here at Plains Bike and Ski, and they have my new Thule. What is this called? Roof rack. It's got the pro bar, 69 inch, so I can fit two canoes up here. And Jake, you you were the only one who I could get this from. Yeah, I don't we know. Had, uh, a distributor who came through who carries Thule that we uh, we sometimes get stuff through. One of the biggest bike distributors, and they had the bars, and we had the other stuff. So we got the locks in there too. It's, it's nice though, man. Free installation. Yeah, love yeah, that. We always do it with Thule. So I love um, it. Thule does map pricing, so it's like an assigned fixed kind of price, pretty pretty across the board. So. We try to offset that a little bit by doing some, you know, some yeah. installation uh, at no charge. So just kind of saves folks a little bit, uh, uh, you know, saves you from, you'll still know how to take it off and on. Oh, but. I bought a Kuat rack from another bike shop here and they just gave me the box. Yeah. It probably took me two hours to assemble. <laughs> so we have the understrip here, which will keep the noise quiet as it, because it'll howl as it uh, passes over this. So once we get it up, I'm going to take a measurement and then we'll cut the weather stripping. Okay, cool. The thing I want to do is have these separated as much as I can okay. because we have an 18 and a half foot long and a 16 foot long canoe. Okay. And the farther apart the bars are, the better. Yeah. So this rubber strip that goes underneath the bars would not slide in. So he took and pushed it down from the top and that took a long time and was very hard to do. The feet mount onto the factory rails pretty easily. There's just a one screw that gets tightened up to four newton meters. The locks install with a master key, which lets you slide the cylinder in, and then you lock it with your standard key that you will use to lock and unlock the rack. So this is kind of bad. These bars are making an awful lot of noise. So my suspicion for what was making that whistling noise was that there was a gap here with no rubber. And what I'm going to do is take some Gorilla Tape and just put it underneath there and see if that'll work as a temporary fix. I have more rubber that I could install underneath here, but it's very difficult to get that rubber in. So there's the Gorilla Tape. Okay, I went for a ride and I had almost no whistle, but I still have a little bit of a whistle. And there's a gap on the inside that I'm going to fill with tape also. Okay, now I have duct tape on the outside and on the inside where there were smaller gaps. I hope that works. Okay, I think the whistle is totally gone. I don't hear it anymore. So it looks like putting the Gorilla Tape on there worked well. So here's the rack on the car. Looks pretty good. Let's put some canoes up there. Okay, there's both our boats. 18 and a half foot long one is on the left and the 16 foot one is on the right. There's a little bit of room between them and there's plenty of room to tie a rope on here or strap. On this side, I have plenty of room also to tie the strap on. Not a lot of access. So this is about the minimum width bar for these canoes that I think we could get away with. Looks perfect. I don't think your rack is supposed to extend out beyond the car. And if I drop a straight line, the rack is actually inside the very outside of the car and way inside of the mirrors. And as far as hitting my head, the rack is far enough back when I open the door and get in that I would not be able to hit my head unless I leaned back. And if I were standing next to the car, 
I'd have to lean over to actually hit my head. So that's really good. So there they are. We also have two kayaks we could put up there, which are narrower than either of these boats. So that would not be an issue. Looks like a great solution if you want to carry a couple canoes or kayaks. Thanks for watching.